they'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. On third down, Rivers. It's brought in complete. It's John Brown. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. A big play that time for the Raiders. 51 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. On second down, it's Jacobs, and he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far is working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Go! 185! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double tight, double tight. Three down, three down. Hey, watch 28. 36, 36. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Well, they're currently the best in the NFL in converting on third down, so it was no surprise there that they picked that one up. And they've done it in many different ways throughout the season, Charles. Picking it up, running it, throwing it, just effective on third downs all year long. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. They'll roll him out. And the Raiders are in for six. Touchdown. Derek Carr with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. He hit him earlier in this first quarter with his arm. Now he does it with his legs. Right now, he's one of those stat stuffers that you see on the basketball court. You know, the guy with points, rebounds, assists, steals. One with the arm, one with the legs. Let's see if he can continue this pace. And sending out the reminder that, yeah, look, I'm known for having an arm, but I can do it with the legs on occasion when I need to. Let's go, baby. Let's go. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. To throw on third down. Rivers. And that will be incomplete. Well, 
Bills send the punter out as he'll kick it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Play action. Now it's Carr. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Second quarter from Oakland, the homestanding Raiders with the football here as they've got it with a first and 10. Now Carr, he'll buy some time right. He'll get five out of the scramble, hit second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The Raiders on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This time they face a third and two. Here's Carr. Throw left side complete. That's Hodges. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 21. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible to something a little more advantageous. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. The Raiders on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third down and 12. Carr. He's got Allen. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. But kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're down. I want to. I know, but hold on, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, called, a I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here, slow to get up. We'll take a break and get a report from Oakland after this. So negative yardage, a loss of three on second down, and that leads to a tough third down call. To throw his rivers. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And the safety, Carl Joseph.
Bishop's there to knock that one away. Three plays and out. It's fourth down. The Bills send the punter out as he's on to kick it away. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. Going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool him. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. They'll run on first down. It's Jacobs. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. On second down now, it's Jacobs. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. From the gun, it's Carr. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. At their own 26-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. The pass there over the middle to start things out. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. On first down now, run with McKinnon. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The so, coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. Out of the gun now on third down. And that's complete to Croft. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a pickup of 17 on that one. And a Bills first down. On first down, McKinnon. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Second and nine now. And the grab by Croft. That catch good for five. It's third down. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So they do get the three points before they hit halftime. Something to build on, maybe. Yeah, go ahead and raise the banner, right? Go wave the flag. That's good. Got points. And now, as you said, they've got something to build on as they get ready for the second half. Let's go. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now, 
The Raider offense set to get this drive started. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. you got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try and add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way, I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. If you've got some good plays drawn up, you might want to think about them right here. Throwing on first down is Carr. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. It's a gain of 20 as we wind down near 20 seconds left in the quarter. First and 10 at the 38 yard line. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Check, check. Fresno, Fresno. Car going to throw. He's going to let it go in zone for Allen. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back. But that's one step in the proper direction. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. To throw again, Carr. They'll find his tight end, that's Waller. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the ten to the seven. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Here's Jacobs. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This is an easy one, 23-yarder. And his kick here is good. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Let's go! Got it. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. This quarterback now 5 of 6. Very accurate since taking over. And he's got his guys a first down. Now McKinnon. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Second and 11. And he finds Beasley complete. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. That's not good for only a couple. It brings up third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 61, Matchbox right. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. And they take over. They'll set up shot at the 46-yard line. 
That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 17. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Now Carr, and he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. That really sets them back, a loss of six. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Second down and goal. Carr. This is Carr. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Hard out of throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. From a yard out. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, they had to feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere, and so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Seven yards there and a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Now left side, a completion to his tight end, and they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Second and one. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. He'll look to throw. It's hauled in by Dyson. 
And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Enough to make the play defensively, Tredavious White. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. Able to find Walter. That's complete. That one good for 24 yards. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 32-yard line. Jacobs now, and he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Here's Jacobs, and he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brent, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. The Raiders on third down. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This is third and eight. To throw, it's Carr. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. That's a cornerback in for the sack. Tredavious White. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sideline. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 22-yard line. This quarterback now, 12 of 16 thus far. It's first and 10. Eluding the pressure right. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. 
Here's McKinnon on the draw. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. They look to throw. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. John Brown, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bills cut into that lead. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. Now that shaves a bit off the lead. It's now a 23-point game. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. A nice run on first down gets him six yards to the 31. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. And they'll indeed take a knee. It's a loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11 at the 36-yard line. So this one, a victory for the Oakland Raiders. And when you break it down, you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this one. I think you felt the same way yep. based on our conversation after the production meeting. But obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden, whoosh, there it is. This thing is pretty much done. And the crowd stayed with it to celebrate because they're like, Let's enjoy watching our team play this well. This is fun. So for the Raiders, their strong start to the year continues as they're up to 5-1.